So they creep forward and they're off. And this is the Grade 1 Labrox Christmas Hurdle. And it is Rubo who takes the lead as they take the slight turn into the home straight and on towards the first of the eight flights of hurdles. Constitution Hill settled on the inside of So Royal as they now take the first flight. Rubo had a lead of about a length and a half. The other four lining up across the track on the outside First Street, then Black Poppy towards the inside So Royal and right on the inside Constitution Hill as they come up towards flight number two and Rubo has got the clear lead. Rubo over the second, led there by about a length and a half to Constitution Hill and his stablemate First Street towards the near side, and then So Royal at the back of the five together with Black Poppy as they come up past the enclosures. So it is Rubo and uh, Harry Cobden as they go into the turn. First Street, Sam Twist and Davis around the outside, Nico de Boyneville on Constitution Hill on the inside. Between those two, So Royal and Tom Bellamy and Brendan Powell and Black Poppy, last of the quintet, as they make the run now along the side of the course on towards flights three and four, which are taken in quite quick succession towards the end of this section of the track. And it's Rubo bidding for his five-timer who has got the lead. First Street towards the outside, creeping a little closer. Keen is so royal as they go over that flight. And then Constitution Hill, who was quick in the air, and a break of a couple of lengths to Black Poppy. On towards flight number four, and then on towards halfway. Rubo over the fourth, standing well off that hurdle on the inside. Constitution Hill, a good leap, carried him into second on the inside of So Royal. And then out wide, First Street and Black Poppy, just slightly restrained at the back of the field. They're going into another turn, which takes them on towards halfway. And Rubo, bidding for his third win here over course and distance, leads the way to last year's winner, Constitution Hill, in second. So Royal, another dual winner at Kempton, is in third, followed by First Street and Black Poppy as now they head into the Max Strait. Inside the final seven furlongs and on now towards the fourth from home in the Labrooks Christmas Hurdle and Rubo has a lead of just a length and a half over Constitution Hill who races on the inside. Rubo trialed his hind legs through that flight. Constitution Hill is in second. First Street on the outside of So Royal and a length and a half away to Black Poppy as they now go on towards the third last. Rubo and Harry Cobden still out in front. So Royal may just have second now between his rivals on his outside First Street, on his inside Constitution Hill. Constitution Hill once again was very quick in the air over that flight and he's now got to within a length and a half of Rubo who is urged for a little bit more by Harry Cobden at this point as they enter the final half mile of the Labrooks Christmas Hurdle. Rubo has got the lead over Constitution Hill who races in second position and then First Street who is in third around the outside of So Royal and then on the inside is Black Poppy. So they begin to make the turn in, three furlongs to go and Rubo now the lead is only a length and a half over Constitution Hill who breezes up to try and challenge then Black Poppy staying onto the inside as First Street beats a retreat so Royal is tapped for toe, Rubo is there and now on the outside Constitution Hill delivers his challenge over the second room home, a beautiful and slick jump by Constitution Hill carries him into the lead, Constitution Hill out in front to Rubo who is in second as they come down towards the final flight, Constitution Hill is at the last and he's clear and away. Rubo in second. First Street is staying on but Constitution Hill as he did 12 months ago comes home to win the Christmas hurdle in a canter. Constitution Hill remains unbeaten over hurdles. Rubo rallied for second followed by First Street and then Black Poppy. Michael Buckley alongside, winning owner, well done. Does it get any easier watching him? No. <laughs> Does it get more terrifying? It gets actually more, f it, it's more pleasurable in a way to when yeah. you see him jump like that. Yeah. And that's an ideal way, as it's turned out for him, to be ridden really, just sort of lobbing along behind the leader like that. So it worked out well. It? And I have to say, first time out, he was pretty spectacular, wasn't he? Yeah. Jumped beautifully. And I thought what was James Millman and I were remarking on was that sort of early zest in a race. Not necessarily keen, but you know, as enthusiastic as ever as well he might. Yes, I don't understand reading you pundits, <laughs> or not necessarily you, but some of them saying, you know, oh, I don't know, maybe he won't be as good. I mean, he's only six years old. Yeah. 
he, you know, he should, he should still be on the up curve, not the down <laughs> curve. I guess we're not going to know because nothing can really, you know, nothing can can really take him to where he's never been before. But you know, it's, it, it, he he must be a huge pleasure to be associated with off the back of performances like that. Oh, it's a total joy. I mean, what 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 is not to love about being lucky enough to have a horse like that? I mean, he's he looks wonderful. He doesn't play up. He delivers every time. Um, he's calm and quiet away from the race course and like a tiger on it. What, what, what did Nico have to say to you? Because he'll always tell you more than he'll tell us. So what did he say to you? He, just, he was in awe about his jump at the second last. He said we were then going, he just let him off the bridle. He was going so fast and he said it was uh, just extraordinary. Um, I mean, the one thing is he's, he's tough for Nico in a way is keeping, trying to keep him on the ground because he's so enthusiastic yeah. and he knows he's got a huge amount of scope and he, he loves sort of jumping out of his hands <laughs> far too far away from the hurdles. <laughs> but anyway, Latin, it was it was wonderful. I'm thrilled it's over. It's pretty it's pretty nerve wracking to be honest. But um, he's a very, 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 very special horse. Trained by the way by a very special man. What well up? Thanks. Thanks. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com. <laughs>